Hello, hello, I'm Fred Dingo and I'm here to gloat today. Yes, that's right, I'm going to show off a bit of software that, for the 64 drive that allows you to write um, disks onto the um, little disk in a dev unit. The old method was to use a Partner 64 and a um, card that fits in your PC and a cable and um, Leo Write tool to read and write to it. Um, this one doesn't do that. No, no. It, it's what it does is it runs a series of instructions that writes or potentially reads um, data off of the drive. And in particular, it can write back the ones that you dump using the 64 drive. It uses, well, it actually uses a hacked version of the menu, so that way it routes, just like um, with the NES cartridges, it routes it into the program itself. Now, right now I have a Dizam on. Um, save that's written on here. And unlike the other one I showed off in the previous video, this one it um, has stuff in the ROM section of the disk. But the important thing about this is that this is, well, except for that little demo thing, this is the only um, thing that's actually been written for the, um, the dev unit itself. It's also special in that it doesn't require an internal IPL or one that's on one of these cartridges. Well, that one doesn't have the word disk written on it. Most of them do. But notice there's a little yellow ROM on those and a red RAM on the other ones. Now, the thing about them is that you can't just load one of these from ROM and edit it. You, The most you can do is you have to copy it. See, it'll, oh, yes, it'll give a little honk, see. But you, you're expected to copy it and then, then say, but the nice thing is, is you can play them off of ROM. And these are actually the ones that are built in. This one would be Solid Gear. This one would be the Mr. Bunny. And this one is that hidden one right here. <laughs> and just to show that they actually do work and whatnot, let's just go ahead and load one up. There we go. And there's Ramsey. There. Boop, boop, boop. Yay. Okay. Well, enough of that. Let's show off actually writing something. The um, thing about this, though, is that... Whoop, whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's just roll down. Um, we're going to use the Super Mario 64 DD version. Actually, it's not just to show off that <laughs> it works. It's because it also happens to be a retail disk image. And um, normally, even with Leo Wright, you weren't exactly allowed to write a retail disk image onto a dev disk. Now the way around that is to basically reformat the disk and ignore certain parts of the system data. It should take roughly two minutes to copy a whole disk and actually that's um that's one of the funny things about this is that um, normally you wouldn't write a whole disk. Normally what you would do, there we go, Normally what you would do is you would just give it um, instructions on blocks of data and where you would put them. And that's why it's incredibly important that when you go ahead and you dump one of these things, you keep that error log that it generates. Unrecovered read errors aren't just like weird errors. What they are is they're sections that haven't been written to since the last disk format. And if you have those, you don't need to write the whole disk at one time. You can just write back the information that you, um, well, the actual information that you used. It also helps if somebody wants to analyze these things later because then they know where to look. And all the other stuff is, it, it's not actual data that you're putting off of there. They, we just sort of copy from the buffer. Now, the thing about that too is that um, <laughs> the unrecovered read errors, see, if you have one of those tables, it doesn't take like two plus minutes to do this. And it would take longer on a partner 64 because it only writes a single word at a time. Now, what you would actually wind up doing is you would just um, probably take seconds. Yeah, it should take seconds first minutes. And we'll have a demonstration of that later when I write back the um, original disk contents on here. Oh yes, and the reason why this screen is blank is because I, I didn't add an interface to it at all. Matter of fact, it doesn't even initialize the VI. The idea here is that when this little red light stops blinking and you hear the little click 
when the uh, drive disengages, that's when you're done. It's not exactly the best idea, but it works. It totally works. Ah, uh, yes. And, um, let's see. And it's done. What do you know? It's done just in time because I ran out of things to say. Let's we'll just reset really quick. Then we'll load the IPL4 ROM. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Alrighty. And it should. There's the end. And now it should. There we go. Mario. It is. Except you don't see Mario's head, you just have this boring little disc version thing. Oh. Which, um, I might as well run around in here a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I, I barely ever play Super Mario, so I'm not really sure how to trigger the known errors in here. Oh gosh. So let's just see. Uh, I think a little bit... It is a little slower loading, I have to admit that. I think it was a little big something of another. Well, anyway. Hmm. You know what? It's probably not even worth it. Here. Yeah, I'm lost. I can't remember where I was. Okay. So, instead what we're going to do, I'm just going to show off how quickly you can write these little buggers back you have um, the list, which I do because I kept a little thing when it was a dump. All right, and it will notice the light. Dunk, 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 and it's done, people! It's done. There we go. And I believe I fully itemized what was actually on the disk at some point. Yep, there we go, there we go. And... And there you go. Yep. There you have it. Seconds versus minutes. It, um, looked exactly how many LBAs it loads. It's actually more than you would think because there were other contents on there from previous, um, tests that they had run. And they probably ran them all on the same disk type. Otherwise, a reformat would have, um, caused a whole bunch of unrecovered read errors. So... Anyway, that is why you should always keep your error logs, people, and distro them with your disks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to go and load a disk title that checks for and uses the internal IPL from a retail device. See, dev devices don't have one built in. Well, there are claims that later ones do, but the normal method is that you have a splitter that goes up here. And I'm totally in the market for one, if you happen to have a spare. And what it lets you do is it lets you plug in more than one thing in the cartridge slot. Normally you would use something like, oh, like this. The, they normally have a label that says disc on them, but mine just has a label on the back from the Minogi Corporation. And what they are, they aren't like normal cartridges. They're in a different type of um, address space and they provide the fonts and sound that you normally put, um, disc titles will look for. It also allows you to go ahead and pass some of the security checks that they um, sort of put in place to prevent you from running retail stuff on a dev unit like this. But the, the initial program launcher, well, there's an IPL for ROM that's designed to run from cartridge space. And the initial program launcher just boots what's on the disk because disks, unlike cartridges, they aren't just um, automatically bootable. They have to be booted from another program. Now, in this case, what we have is we have um, a version of Paint that's been hacked, so that way it looks for the fonts and sound built into the cartridge space that's um, in this hacked version of the IPL for ROM. Oh yes, another thing is that these cartridges, well, this one, the funny thing about them is that the entire program space of them has been um, tampered with. So that way they can never boot a, car or a disc on their own. So, all right, what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna go. <laughs> Be nice not to knock it on the floor, huh? All right, so anyway, it didn't throw error 49, which is the one when it can't find the IPL. And we'll just start this up really quick. Hmm. 
since most, I don't think any of you noticed the mystery egg from the F0X translation. Um, I'm just gonna boot that up really quick. Do, do, do. Let's see, we're gonna go, we're gonna hit load. Alrighty. Please load. Load. There we go. Our little bananas here. And then we're just gonna go and we're gonna jump into a little thingy over here. I think it's that one. You know, one day I have to scan in manuals for these things. It'll be really fun. All right. Need all my paws for that. Goodbye, everybody.